Well, hello, hello, hello. This is Laura coming to you with another short video. Happy Friday, everyone. I just wanted to pop in today. Um, today's not going to be so much about information on gang stalking, but just a word of encouragement. How many of you could use some encouragement? I know that I could. And so as I encourage you today, these words that I speak, I'm encouraging myself as well. Because, my friend, you know, I'm still being tried by the fire. I'm still going through. You know, I have this channel and everything, and uh, we have this community. But it doesn't, it doesn't stop everything. This week has been a trying week for me. But I want you to know I made it. The enemy tried to poison my spirit, tried to poison my soul, you know, tried to... Um, you know, give me bitterness and take away my joy and my happiness and my peace. And I know better. I know better. You know, when you know better, you do better. But I just wanted to encourage someone out there. Um, the title of this video is going to be Don't Give Up. You know, because there's possibly somebody under the sound of my voice that's thinking about giving up, thinking about throwing in the towel. And I want to say to you, don't you dare. Don't you dare. This is not the time to throw in the towel. This is not the time to give, to surrender to the enemy. This is not the time to give the enemy what they wanted. You know, because this is exactly, if you surrender, if you give up, if you throw in the towel, you're giving the enemy exactly what they want. And so on this channel, we are survivors. We are survivors. When I created this channel, I didn't give it a lengthy description. I just stated that I am I survived, and you can too. And that's enough said right there. If I didn't say another word, that's enough said right there. If I can survive, you can too. All of this that we're going through, that we've been through, it was meant to crush us under the the mighty blow of the enemy. But if you're still here, if you're still standing, if you can still if you're still here to see another day and under the sound of my voice, then you're a survivor. Enough said. Everything that the enemy tried to do and is trying to do to take you out, my friend, it's not working. You have so much value. Your life has meaning. Your life has a purpose. Everything that you've been through, it will not be wasted. All the little pieces, all the broken pieces will be gathered, and it will be used to encourage and to give hope and faith to somebody else. It's not for the enemy to sit back and, and, and reap the benefits. It's for the benefits of someone else who's going through the exact same thing that you are experiencing or have experienced, and for them to look at your life and to give them hope for tomorrow. And that's why I'm coming on here today. I survived. So can you. I'm still surviving. Every day it's a struggle. Every day I walk into the battle. But I'm still here. I'm still standing. I'm still smiling. I still have hope. I still have faith. My test has become my testimony. My life, I know that life has meaning and value, and I'm here. If I wake up to see another day, there's a purpose to that. And I know if the enemy had his way, that he would want to see us throw in the towel or be somewhere in the corner so crushed and so mentally and, and psychologically and emotionally and spiritually broken that we would be in the corner somewhere playing with crayons as adults. But that's not happening. You know, the enemy has tried to throw so many deadly blows. And the thing about it is that we need to realize we are stronger than what we give ourselves credit for. If we're still here, if we're still standing today in the midst of it all, you are a strong person. You are a strong, powerful individual. To endure everything that you've endured and you're still standing, you are a mighty, powerful warrior, my friend. And there is no stopping you. 
So don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Stay encouraged. Stay hopeful. Muster up enough strength to say, you know what? My life could change in the blink of an eye. In an instant, my circumstances could change. It may come the next minute, the next hour, the next day. But change is coming. The enemy has no effect on you. The enemy can be rendered powerless. The enemy is rendered powerless. You've already got the victory. Just walk in it. Keep smiling. Keep standing strong. Keep living your best life because you know what? That irritates them more than anything. Your smile, your hope, your faith, your courage, your strength. Oh, man, that gets up under the enemy's skin. They can't stand it. Like, what in the world? I've done all this dirt to you. I've done everything I could to take you out. Anybody else would have fainted and given up. But you, what? You still standing? You still smiling? You still got hope? You still got faith? Yes, I do. Yes, of course. So this community was created for us to encourage one another, where people could feel like survivors, where people could feel like they belong, where they could have hope and faith just to go on one more day, to run this race a little bit longer. And I want to let you know you got this. You can do this. Stay strong. The enemies you see today, you will not see anymore. And you know what God says, that he will make your enemies your footstool. And I truly believe that he will bless you in front of your enemies. And they will leave and walk away scratching their head like, how in the world? Or she didn't deserve that. He don't deserve that. But God saw fit for you to have it. God saw fit for you to be here today. He woke you up this morning. My friend, you're too valuable to to give in the towel. This is not the time. You know, I had to realize that in my trials this week, you know, um, I had to realize that I was trying to fight a spiritual battle with carnal weapons. So instead of breaking, I had to break down and get on my knees. I had to say, Lord, help me, you know, because I've been there. I've been there. I've I've been there where I felt hopeless. I've been in in a dark place. I've been there where I felt so alone that I didn't have any, like I I didn't have anybody, like nobody understood. I've been in the place of isolation. Been there, done that. But God said, get up. Get up, whoever you are. Get up. Don't cower back in defeat. You are unbreakable. You are undefeated. Get up. Look up. I got you. You got this. If you walk with me, you can make it through anything, he's saying. Do you trust him? Don't put your trust in man because man will let you down. But do you trust him? The one who holds tomorrow in his hand. The all-powerful, the almighty one. Do you trust him? So get up. Get up. You can make it. This test is just a testimony. It's only a test. You can pass this test. Don't give the enemy the benefit of seeing you Defeated, thrown in the towel, surrender. You got too many people cheering you on. You got too many people looking at you to see you make it through to the finish line. Run this race, my friend. Run it. Don't grow weary. Don't get tired. Get up, set your face like flint. Don't be dismayed. Don't be discouraged. You can make it. You have what it takes to make it. 
And your life, again, I want to reiterate this, your life has so much purpose and so much meaning. There's so many things in store for you, greater things that you could ever imagine. But you got to be willing to hold on. So get up. Get up. You got this. You mighty man of valor. You mighty woman of valor. Get up. Get up. So I'm going to stop the video at this point. Stay strong, stay encouraged, and as always, until we meet again, bye-bye, my friends.